Hello everyone, this is PKWG 1337 and today I'm gonna show you how to play 3DS games on your computer with an emulator called Citra. Now keep in mind it's still in development so it's not gonna be perfect and you're gonna need a really really good computer to run these games at a reasonable speed and it's still very prone to crashing so just keep that in mind. But it's really coming along in development and I'm gonna show you how to set it up. First of all you can go to this site which I'm gonna link in the description and go to the newest version of the emulator. Just click on one of the links and go through some of those short ULR shortness and make sure you have adblock because these things are fucking cancer sometimes. It's it's ridiculous, but whatever. Just need to click a, click through some stuff here, and after that, you can go to the file hosting site Mega and get your emulator. You will have to do the same for the ROMs, which are also on the same site, which is linked in the description, just scroll down a little further. And keep in mind, not all games are compatible or working yet, but it will all work at some point, which I'm sure of. Yeah. So after you have your ROMs and the emulator, you just open up the file where the emulator is located and you put it into some kind of folder where you can find it along with the games and then you just open one of the files. After this is opened you have to put it into a bigger screen if you want to see the full effect of everything but whatever. You can then go and load a file, go to the folder where your games are located and just try out some of the games. For example, let's try Kirby Triple Deluxe. For this is a very good example of a game that's pretty good running at the moment. If I can activate fraps for a moment, we can see it's almost always at 60 FPS and the only reason it's not for me now is because of the screen recorder. I mean, but some some of the screens it, it still works. But this actually is almost fully functional and you, of course, just like the normal DS emulator, you can you control the touchscreen with your mouse. And the key configuration is a little weird on the standard, but you can go over there to configure and just configure the input, which is a pretty new feature for this emulator. But it works! And there are some other things that seem need to be added for now. There's some other st things that if you don't enable them will make the game run a bit slower or b badder, worse I guess. Like this, this looks, this looks more like it would be from a 3DS capture card or something, but why would you want that? Get the get the full HD experience, right? <laughs> I mean, go the full way. And it doesn't even tamper with the performance at all. Not that I've noticed. But look at this! This is really almost perfect emulation of this game. Of course there are some lag spikes, the sound is not perfect. But hey, it's really, really good and I'm sure if we give the developers of this emulator a little bit more time, we can pretty much have a really functional 3DS emulator. And that's really cool. Of course, not every game works, just as I said. And keep in mind that it's really only legal if you have the games physically or like downloaded them on the 3DS before. So. It's only really legal if you have bought them, which I have, so yeah, keep that in mind. But as you can see, this is fully working. The sound is a little, little screwy, 
development, of course. It's in development, it's just gonna get better with time. So yeah. If you have a good enough PC, just go and do it. Play the games you want. In HD. <laughs> and if you can't really play with a keyboard, Joy to Key is always an option. But yeah. Thanks for watching my video and I hope you can enjoy your little 3DS experience. See ya!